Good evening and welcome back to 30 at 6. Ryan's Birthday Party is a locally based organization that provides costumes to kids battling cancer all over the country. Anita Castile is the president of the organization and she's here tonight to tell us about the organization itself and their upcoming fundraiser. Anita, thanks so Hi. much for being here. Welcome, thank you for having me. Of course. So tell me about Ryan's Birthday Party and how it got started. Okay. So pretty much most of my career I have been in fundraising. Mm. So in 2015, we found out that my grandson Ryan, who was three years old, mm. had a very rare brain cancer. And while he was in the hospital at Nemours A.I. DuPont Children's mm -hmm. Hospital, he turned four at the hospital. He loved Halloween, so we did a great big giant Halloween party for oh. him in one of the conference rooms. Um, the next year, we knew that it probably would be his last mm -hmm. birthday, and so when he turned five, we did a really large community birthday party at a local church. We had 500 people. We raised $10,000. Wow. Um, yeah, it was awesome. We, Rising Sun Fire Department brought out every piece of equipment, and we gave 1000 to Make-A-Wish, 1000 to Give Kids the World, 1000 to his hospice, 1000 mm -hmm. to Nemours, and 1000 to a local family. And there were so many people that blessed us, and we realized that so many people were doing things for us that we really needed a place to funnel the amount of money right. that was coming in. So the next year, he, was, he died January 4th, 2016, at 5. And um, pretty much while he was sick those 15 months, I bought him 15 Halloween costumes. Oh. <laughs> and we saw how much joy it brought him. Yeah. You know, it kind of turned going to the doctor, sitting in the hospital, into fun. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just thinking about cancer every day. Right. So um, the next year, when he was, um, while he was gone, it was 2016 at that point. In May, I started a 501c3, mm -hmm. and we just decided we were going to find children throughout the United States, and anybody who wanted a costume, we were going to bless them. But it's also Ryan's Birthday Party Foundation. Right. So what we do is we do a birthday party in a box. So if, um, a, like today, I found a child who's 15 in Oklahoma, and she, has mm -hmm. she also has brain cancer. It's a different kind. But I contact the mother. I say, hey, you know, tell me who she wants to be. Um, let me know when her birthday is. Because we feel like when a child is sick, every day should be a birthday party. Mm -hmm. So they get napkins, plates, banners, everything to have a blowout birthday party because they might not make it to the next birthday. Right. So Saturday while we were at Cecil Con, I actually got a text from a little girl that I had wanted to be Moana and mm. um, found out the mother texted me while we were there and said, guess what? All of her things came today and today is actually her birthday. Oh, that's amazing. Right. So that was pretty, that was pretty cool. But Yeah, that's such, such an amazing story and such an amazing, like a, a unique take on mm. on creating a, a benefit for other people out of the tragedy that your family faced. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have also done some local work. Yes. Yeah. Daily, I order costumes. So at this point, we've handed out 620 costumes to all 50 states and 15 countries. Mm -hmm. And since be we became a 501c3, May of 2016. But... Um, Ryan, after they did, um, they did surgery, chemo, and radiation. Mm -hmm. And after the surgery, it was as if he had had a stroke. He had to relearn how to sit oh, up, right. had to learn how to walk. So he couldn't get on a lot of the local swings and a lot of the equipment. So I went to his elementary school and said, you know, I'd love to be able to do something in his memory. And, you know, my idea was, you know, can I plant some trees and maybe mm -hmm. some flowers and have a little garden? And she said, you know, this year, eight children have broken their arms on the outdated equipment. And that's Rising Sun. Rising oh, Sun, his. yes. Ryan was able to attend school for two months. Mm -hmm. So when I sat down with the principal and I, I said, oh, could I plant some trees and maybe have a little memory garden? She's like, oh, she's like, I know you. But <laughs> why don't we redo the playground? So we submitted an application, and we were given a $350,000 grant wow. from the state of Maryland, largest grant 
um, in the state of Maryland that has ever been given out. My foundation just had to provide $35,000 of that. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of local fundraisers um, to be able to raise the 35000 that we needed. So many area businesses were awesome. There probably wasn't a business in Rising Sun that didn't donate. I oh, mean, the, wow. yeah, the, the town was fantastic. great. So we actually raised $385,000 and put in two mm -hmm. handicapable playgrounds in Rising Sun Elementary. Um, one is actually a, wheel a wheelchair swing that an entire wheelchair can get on this piece oh, of wow. equipment. Yeah, and, and they can swing right in the wheelchair. So that was pretty cool. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah, we were very happy. So you have a fundraiser coming up very soon on the 27th. We do. You guys were talking about Earth Day. Right. So, um, you know, part of being in fundraising is about relationships and making those connections. Mm -hmm. And the Kilby family, um, they brought out the Kilby Cream Mobile yeah. to our house. They have been at all of our events and provided everything for free. I babysat the Kilby children when they were <laughs> little. Now they're all adults. But Bill Kilby also, in addition to running the farm, runs the Cecil Land Preservation Trust. Yes. And so they donate their land um, on, at the farm so that West Nottingham Academy students who run cross-country track, track can use their land to run. Mm -hmm. And Bill's like, oh, Anita, it'd be a great fundraiser if you did a 5K on our land. Awesome. Yeah. So we're going to do that, but we I went and spoke at West Nottingham Academy, and they have 135 students from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And 28 of the kids came forward and said, look, there's, we want to be able to help you. You know, we want to be able to serve and be a part of what you're doing. So I've been meeting with those students once a month. We formed a board, mm -hmm. formed a committee, and we've been, you know, I've been kind of teaching them how you do events. But they're so awesome. The high school kids are just amazing. So they're doing an Earth Day celebration, mm -hmm. and it will be a costumed 5K and walk on their property. Right. Um, Fire Tower Brewery will be open. Cool. You know, in case you're interested in running and drinking. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe run first, then drink. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the land is just absolutely beautiful. There's ponds, and it's, they're going to give all the funds to us. So it's a costume 5K. It is a costumed so 5K. People are encouraged to dress up. To dress up in costume, yeah. How much does it cost to sign up? You know, the kids all planned all of this. I know that for it, you can do a team of four for $10. Mm -hmm. um, you can sign up individually for 20 okay. If you go right on the West Nottingham Academy website. Um, you can sign up there. Facebook website, yeah. You can cool. sign up with them. Cool. So that's April 27th. What time? 11 o'clock. There's a lot of things happening that day. There's yeah. the Cecil biking. So that's oh, in the right. morning. The, the land trust. Yes. And then and then the church is also doing a, um, West Nottingham Academy Presbyterian Church mm -hmm. is doing a big yard sale. So we okay. tried to wrap all three of them together so that people can do multiple events in one day. I think it's totally yeah. doable. I think so. <laughs> yeah, to keep everybody busy out of trouble. Yeah. Okay, so where can people go to sign up? The West Nottingham Academy website. West Nottingham Academy's Academy website. website. Yeah. Okay, well, I encourage our viewers to check out that 5K. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Anita Castile is president of Ryan's Birthday Party Foundation. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.